Hi everybody, uh, it's Martin from Flicking Feathers here. Uh, today I'm going to be tying a bonefish fly that I came up with uh, on a, a trip to Hawaii. I call it the other. It saved me a few times. So you can see I've already started the hook and device. It's just a size 6, 8, 11S and I've attached some medium uh, chain eyes. You could go heavier depending on where you're fishing if you like. Um, but, I would, but I use this fly in really skinny water so uh, that's why I'm sticking with the light bead chain so I'm just going to run my uh, tan thread round the bend of the hook and then spiral it back three open turns just to sort of this halfway around the bend I'm going to take a silly leg these are actually um, from a uh, football jig skirt um, from the bass shop uh, and they're hollow silicon legs with a little bit of they're sort of tan with a little pearly fleck they move really well next I'm going to tie in the rib which is medium uh, vinyl rib and clear so we'll get a length of that I like to cut off a sort of long section enough for a few flies um, just to reduce the waste and also it kinda, it's easier to work if you've got um, plenty of stuff to hold on to so get your D-rib, give it a sort of stretch to straighten it out and then tie it down the length of the body Look, you can see there I've got the tag right behind the bead chain this helps give you a sort of nice even body instead of having a big ugly lump at the back. And this just sort of helps create a sort of segmentation uh, in the fly. Actually, once it's been wet, it looks better. Um, yeah, so the body of this is going to be EP shrimp dub in tan or white, depending where you're fishing. You could also add a little spot a pink somewhere just or orange just as a wee uh, trigger point so just dub the dub the thread and you know leave it fairly shaggy yeah um you know you don't need you don't need an incredibly tight rope for this it's not no it's not super sparse um so when you're ready, just slide the dubbin up the thread and get it started at the back there. And then just dub your body forward. Tighten up if you need to. And finish just shy of the bead chain eyes. Leave yourself a mill or so just to tie off the, the rib. And then Take the D-rib forward and open turns. And then cross your thread and tie it off. I like to tie it in the underside um, so that you're sort of, you've got a bit of space, you're, you're not fighting the eyes as much as you as you might be uh, if you try to go between them and snip off the tag. So next you want to tie in just a little bit of sparkle, uh, for this I use golden olive crystal flash. Just one strand is, is enough. I mean, if if you, you feel that you want a bit more you can use two, um, but I just like a couple. Again the skinny water, keep it a bit, sort of, a bit more subtle. So fold the crystal flash over your thread and then tie it down. So it's sort of sweeping back a strand on either side of the, the body. And I like to cut them just about level, maybe slightly shorter than the set of legs at the back. 
and then just take another uh, leg and the same as before fold it over your thread and tie it down so there's one on each side if this leg would behave Sometimes it takes a bit of work just to get them to do exactly what you want, so you can... If you're not happy, just go back. And then what we'll do is I'll make the tie in a little bit longer to force it to, to sweep back rather than sticking straight up. And if you stretch them tight, you don't really lose any length, it's, you know. Or you don't lose very much, it's just barely noticeable. And then your legs should already be even because you folded them. They should just be a bit shorter than the, the legs that you've already tied in in the crystal flash. And then the last stage is um, just to put a bit more dubbing uh, around the bead chain to create a wee sort of head. Again, don't be shy. Feel f you know you can you can get plenty on. So around between the eyes, build it up, make sure you've covered everything. And then if you're, you're not happy you can add a bit more, I think this needs a bit a bit more bulking up. Oh. You're just maybe another turn or two here. So again, back through the eyes. Figure in. And then just pull everything that's going forward, pull it back. And throw in a quick fit, whip finish or two. Once that's bedded in tight, just snip away your excess thread. And then come in with some varnish or oh, head cement, super glue, whatever you like. I just use Sally Hansen's. And then the last thing is to get in about it with some Velcro. Or your dubbing brush. Just watch the crystal flash and just try to encourage the fibers to come out and sort of sweep backwards, especially up in towards the hook bent, hook gape. Just to um, just to make it look a bit more buggy. And what actually happens is once it's been wet, the 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 uh, d rib seems to like, change colour slightly. It loses its, or once it's been fished, it loses its sort of initial shine and sort of bends and blends more in with the colour and gives you a really nice sort of segmented body effect. But there it is, that's the other. Um, it's a bonefish fly that saved me in some tough days in Hawaii. Um, tie some in your box. They've worked for other people who have tied them and they've used them in Bahamas and Mexico. Uh, so, well worth a try. So that's all. Thanks very much, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you did or if you didn't, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.